Well, it seems the Department of Justice is still in Donald Trump's pocket. Let me explain. Many of you are familiar with the E. Jean Carroll rape defamation case. A federal judge, actually the Supreme Court has already ruled that Trump can be held personally liable since it happened before and he was in office, even though his comments that she's suing over were while he's in office. And several federal judges have already ruled against Trump's assertion that because he said his insults and his lies while he was in office, that he can't be held personally liable. His argument is that the U.S. government is who should, she should be suing. And the Department of Justice has filed briefs to that uh, effect. And last October, the federal judge said no you have to stand trial for your words because they did not represent the government and they did not have anything to do with your in-office uh, stuff. Furthermore, Trump has been ordered to turn in a sample of his DNA, repeatedly ordered to, and he's refused to, and the base of his, of his refusal to turn in his DNA is that she should be suing the federal government, and not him. So we thought last October, when this federal judge ruled against him, following the Supreme Court's ruling against him, that uh, he would be forced to turn in his DNA or be held liable for contempt of court or else um, have her win by default. However, the Department of Justice somehow got an appeal to the next level. And yesterday, the 8th of June, and I'm uh, going to be posting a link to this in the comments, the Department of Justice filed a brief, this is the Biden Department of Justice, filed a brief, again, stating the losing argument that the Supreme Court already ruled against, that because Trump made the comments that were insulting her regarding the rape accusation um, while, she was, uh, while he was in office, that she should be suing the government and not Donald Trump, and that they should replace him as defendant. And I expect that this judge will rule along with the Supreme Court and every other judge that's faced it that no, he needs to be held personally liable for his comments and needs to turn in his DNA. But the fact that the Justice Department did this answers another question. I have been asking this question for months. Why hasn't Trump been arrested for the many federal crimes he has committed publicly? Now we know the answer. Because the Department of Justice is still with him. And this should worry every American. When the Department of Justice is backing a person and not bringing forth justice.